cut it off. Where my grown folks at? Make some noise. Yeah. Ain't it crazy? <laughs> Ain't it crazy to be grown? Boy, grown sneak up on you when you least expect it, don't it? Don't nobody tell you it's gonna happen. It just be happening to you. You be in your house doing regular stuff and grown sneak up on you, don't it? <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? Be like, you ever been in your house and walked in a room and forgot why you was in the room? You be all in your house confused, looking around like, why did I come in here? This is ridiculous, I don't know why. Sometimes you be so confused, you look back at the room that you came from, you like, okay, I was in there. And then I came in here and I don't know what I mean. <laughs> then you give up and go back to the room that you came from. As soon as you get in there, you're like, God, that's why I was in there. <laughs> now, what am I doing in here? This is... <laughs> Have you ever been on your cell phone looking for it? I need to find my cell phone. This is ridiculous. I, don't, I swear, I don't know. I don't know what I be doing with this phone. I, I can never find it. I need to have it surgically attached to me because I never know where it is. As soon as I put it down, I can't find it. Somebody on the other end say, well, what are you talking to me on? You like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm grown. I don't know what... <laughs> I am so mad at the people in my family for not telling me this stuff was going to happen to me. Have you ever went to bed 100% <laughs> healthy and woke up with an injury? Ain't that something? You ever go to bed feeling good, wake up with aches and pains? You go to bed feeling good, wake up your ankle swollen, like, ah! It's like, what happened to my ankle? You tell somebody about it too. Say, man, I went to bed last night, woke up, my ankle was swollen. Say, sound like you got the gout. <laughs> what is the gout? Can somebody please tell me what the gout is? And why he diagnosing me over the phone? You ain't no doctor, you work for sanitation. <laughs> but that's what black people do. We will diagnose you. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Tell a black person something wrong with you and see if they won't give you a remedy. <laughs> Said, baby, I don't know, I don't feel so good today. My chest a little congested, throat feel a little scratchy. Said, baby, what you need to do is rub a little bit of Vicks on your chest, you understand? Drink some hot tea, and right before you go to bed, get you a slice of onion and put that in your sock. I'm like, a slice of onion? <laughs> I'm like, you're trying to cure me and make a salad is what I need to know. You're trying to stink up my sheets, a slice of onion. I ain't using no slice of onion. Grown, stuff be happening to me for no reason. I'm like, I don't understand this. They make after work parties for grown people. Cause they know if we go home, we not coming back out. I'm just, I mean, I'm tired. I done worked all day long, my feet tired. I'm like, <laughs> they try and get you as soon as you leave the job, right into the club. Cause if you leave, I am, Lord Jesus, I ain't going nowhere. I'm a, you ever go home and be so tired, you be sitting on your couch, fully dressed, hat, coat, scarf, it was raining outside, you still got your umbrella up. I don't care about no bad luck, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm put this umbrella down after I get some rest, Jesus. I'm... And no, you ain't going nowhere, you take your shoes off because your feet swell up and you can't get them back on. <laughs> if I go somewhere, I'm gonna have to go barefoot, Lord, because I can't get these shoes on, Jesus. Why my feet swell up for no reason at all, Jesus. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't know what it is, boy. This grown stuff just be sticking up on you. The stuff I used to do, I can't do no more. I, wonder, I used to like to eat stuff, you know. And the stuff I used to like to eat, it don't like me no more. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. All these dietary restrictions. You know, I used to love going to this place called uh, White Castle. Y'all familiar with it? <laughs> Let me tell you something, 45, 50, don't you go up in White Castle no more. <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> After I reached a certain age, they didn't start, they did a little something to my burgers that wasn't right, you understand? They didn't make my burgers like they made them when I was in my 20s. They slipped laxative into my burgers after I got to... I'm like, who ordered laxative, Jesus? I ain't ordered no laxative. Why would you put that in my burger and not tell me? I ordered four cheeseburgers, an onion ring, and a Coke with no ice. And here you come with the laxative, just gonna slip it in there while I ain't looking. You know, and the worst part about it is you don't find out they put laxative in your burgers until you somewhere where ain't no bathroom nearby. <laughs> like you be on the subway in between cars. <laughs> now all of a sudden your laxative want to kick in. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> if you got to go to the bathroom and there's not one nearby, this will increase your prayer life. You like, God, please. The devil is a liar. <laughs> Satan, I rebuke you, loose here. I'm a grown man, I can't do the one me, you said. 
I will do the in between the cars or something. I don't care. Cops catch me, you all had to find me, officer. I'm not about to do on my good drawers. These my good underwear yesterday. <laughs> I'm not about to mess these up over no White Castle. You done lost your mind. These my good drawers. I'm not about to mess these up. Plus, I can't take them to Miss Ling Ling at the laundromat after. I... <laughs> you mean, let me tell you something. If your stomach is messed up, if you come up with a plan, you like, oh my God, uh, I'm getting my key now. Uh, I'm going to the middle car. And the middle car, the stairs be right there as soon as the door open up. If I could just make Utica, Lord, if I could make Utica, Jesus. If Trevor's there with that dollar van, I'm gonna need a dollar van a day, Trevor. <laughs> I need to make it home. You be thinking of old remedies that grandma and them used to tell you back in the day? Cause, uh, Cause you know grandma had a remedy, uh, baby, if your stomach messed up, uh, all you got to do is pass a little bit of gas and you can make some room to your stomach, you know, and you might make it to your destination. It don't always work out the way grandma say, though, you know what I'm saying? You ever try and pass gas, somebody add just a little bit of water to your gas? <laughs> now you got your butt balled up like a fist. <laughs> but you're trying to keep this water from touching your underwear, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> technically, if it don't touch your underwear, you really didn't do the one yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> And first thing you do when you get home is check, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, my underwear's still dry. I didn't do the on me. I didn't do the on me. I'm still good. White Castle, they put the devil in them burgers. Yes, they did. I didn't realize it. I got the 50, and all of a sudden, White Castle said, no. Right now, if I eat them, I got to be in the bathroom, on the toilet while I'm eating them. As soon as I eat them, they coming right out. I'm like, look at this. They coming out as I eat them. One time I, I guess I looked in the toilet, the burger, the bun, everything was in there. I'm like, these burgers don't even digest no more. Now I know why they call them sliders. <laughs> they don't pass gold, they don't collect $200, they just go right through you. Hey, White Castle, a box came out my behind. I'm like, I'm like I ain't even meet the box. Don't mess with White Castle. Boy, you got pressure issues, you better stay out of Popeye's too. Ooh, they made that chicken sandwich. I was like, no. You got high blood pressure? I was like, mm-mm. That Popeye's ain't named after the cartoon grown folks. Oh, y'all know who Popeye is. He ate spinach. They don't serve no spinach in Popeye's. It ain't after the cartoon. You got high blood pressure. You find out why they call it Popeye's. That salty chicken, your pressure go up. You can feel your eyes pop right out your head. Pop eyes. <laughs> if you feel your heart beating in your face, call the paramedics. That's all I'm trying to tell you. I came out of Popeye's one time. Brother looked at me. He said, your blood pressure, 200 over 90. I'm like, you can see it. <laughs> oh, the devil is a liar. I just eat it home now. Grown, grown, happy to be grown. Stay in my lane, you understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people when you, a lot of grown folks, you know, they, they trying to hang on to their youth. I ain't trying to hang on to nothing. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Grown men walking around with they behind out. I'm like your butt is too old to be out. Put it away. You got on a diaper. <laughs> Women at the club talking about, I can still drop it like it's hot. Yeah, but who gonna pick it up? That's what I need to know. Don't you drop it down there, don't ask me to pick it up. You know my, I got back issues. I'm not picking it down there, you showing off. I can still drop it like it's hot. Well, leave it down there, and I'll call you an Uber, because I... <laughs> I ain't trying to do no, I, listen. I, been there, done that. I'm not trying to do no more stupid stuff. I, I swear, y'all have believed it. I took a... You know when you take a photo, you take a photo with somebody, you never know what they doing in your photo until after somebody show you the picture. I took a picture with one of my boys and after I looked at the picture, I saw his hands was all twisted. I said, yo man, you got arthritis? He was like, nah man, I I'm representing my hood, my set. I was like, ain't you 50? Look, like, you can't be in a gang and AARP at the same time. You gonna mess up your benefits. Representing his set. He got gray hair, all kinds. I'm like, what's wrong with 
with you? You can't fight. You can hardly breathe. <laughs> I don't mess around. These little young girls will hurt your feelings, fellas. Let me tell you something. My gr grown men in the house, where you at, grown men? Listen, leave these young girls alone. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? They'll hurt your feelings. You try and be intimate with one of these young ladies, let me tell you something, it ain't gonna work out the way you expect it to. Cause you ain't on her level. Y'all don't even look the same no more. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Like, like, listen, I look halfway decent in my clothes. But if I had to take my shirt off, I'm gonna have to hand you a note first. I'm like, here, you need to read this. This is like a prescription from my doctor. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? It's gonna explain all the stuff you about to see once this shirt come off. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Cause I can't explain it verbally, so I had it written down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Man, we ain't got the same body we used to when we was young. I'm trying to tell you. I take this shirt off, all kind of stretch marks again. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh uh. And these young girls, they ain't got none of that. Gravity, nothing have hit their body. They are, they are tight. They ain't got no stretch marks, nothing. That's why I don't need them in my life. I don't want no young girl in my life. I need an older woman that got the same stuff that I got. If I got stretch marks, she need to have something wrong with her too. Stretch marks, say you lead, a gap tube, lazy eye. Something got to be wrong with you. Because if it ain't, I'm not interested. You need corn something. You need to be <laughs> missing a toenail off the baby toe or something. I need, I need something where I can go back. You know, because women hurt your feeling. They're like, ew, fig, you got stretch marks. I need to be say, uh, ew, you too. You got stretch marks. We have stretch marks. This is a team stretch mark kind of thing. What are we going to do about these stretch marks? You understand what I'm trying to tell you? You know, women come back and say, you got some nerve talking about my stretch marks. You know I had a baby. I'm like, so what? I had a sandwich. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't care how you got your stretch marks. I earn mine one meal at a time. <laughs> you can't be being disrespectful and talking about my stretch marks. I earn these stretch marks. I'm grown. I worked on them. Took me time to get them. I like them. Because I ate my weight. <laughs> And everybody be trying to get in shape, too. It sound good. You, you know what? Your, your diet and your exercise program always sound good the day before you're going to start it. You understand? Like, they, they say, this is my last slice of cheesecake today. Because tomorrow, I'm starting this. And then you wake up in the morning, and somebody done made cheese grits and fried some uh, chicken wings. And <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna start the day after tomorrow cuz uh, I can't let these grits go to waste Jesus <laughs> And let me tell you something That's another reason I don't mess with young girls. They don't know how to cook nothing. They stop cooking I don't know why they stop cooking Listen, they don't spend they spend more time in the club than they do in the kitchen You know big mama and grandmama and them used to be in the kitchen cooking back in the day and the girls used to be in there with them Now they don't do that no more I asked one, asked one, do you know how to cook from scratch? She said, well, what aisle can I find it in? I'm like, you can't find scratch in an aisle. You had to spend some time in the kitchen with grandma and them learn how to make scratch. <laughs> Call herself making me a meal. I told y'all I'm, I'm a grown man. I can't eat certain stuff. She made me ramen noodles and then cut up hot dogs in it. I'm like, that's assault. You understand what I'm trying to say? You trying to kill me. I should call the police on you. Ramen new that's salt on salt on salt on salt on salt. You know I got pressure issues. I can't eat this stuff. And then I started thinking to myself, that's a prison meal. I'm like, she done been to jail before. The next thing I know, she be trying to make me a grilled cheese sandwich with a, a, a paper bag and an iron. I'm like, I'm not eating it. <laughs> the girl called herself making grits. The grits were so lumpy, I thought it was potato salad. I'm like, who? Is <laughs> Who eats potato salad with eggs? I can't eat this. I'm just <laughs> oh my God, listen y'all. I see uh, that's my time is up. My name is Fig, I hope y'all enjoy me. Y'all can follow me on all social media platforms, Comedian Fig, I'll talk to y'all next time, peace.